Hi, I'm Mr. Isley and welcome to Chemistry at South Williamsport Junior Senior High School. Chemistry is an exciting subject where we study matter and investigate why different forms of matter do what they do. I'd like to take a few minutes to share with you the sorts of things you can expect to experience in our classroom as we explore the structure and properties of the materials that make up everything in the world around us. Hands-on laboratory work is an important part of any chemistry class. It allows the students to hone important skills in the laboratory, as well as to apply the content knowledge that they learn. Students will experience laboratory work in a variety of situations, from working independently during laboratory practical exercises, to working with a lab partner on data collection and equipment setup, to working in small groups where you may have groups as many as three, four, or more sharing their data and analyzing it collaboratively. We will also utilize a small group collaborative activity method known as POGL. POGL stands for Process Oriented Guided Inquiry Learning. It's a method of learning a concept or being exposed to content through the use of a set of guided questions, hence the guided inquiry. The process oriented portion refers to the fact that students in these small groups serve consistent roles. You will have a group manager who is tasked with keeping everyone on track and making sure that everybody in the group is sticking together and coming to an understanding of the material so that nobody is left behind. You'll have a reader in the group that is tasked with uh, reading aloud the background information as well as the questions because some learners do better with auditory information as opposed to just reading the content. You will also have individuals that will serve as the group spokesperson or presenter that will be in charge of spearheading the discussion and sharing what the group comes up with when we come back together as a whole class to discuss. The group will also have a recorder and this person's job is to make sure that the final answer that the group agrees upon is documented on, on a group copy of the POGL packet which is then submitted for a group grade. These POGO activities may be used as an introduction to new content, or it may be used during a unit presentation. Many of the things that we talk about in an introductory chemistry course can be very abstract and require visualization on the part of the student. One tool that we will use to help with this visualization process are a group of online simulations published by the University of Colorado at Boulder known as FET. What I think sets our class apart is the fact that we will be using what is known as a flipped classroom model. The flipped classroom model, if you're not familiar with it, takes the traditional lecture-based model and inverts it. What the flipped model does is it takes the content delivery portion, the portion where previously students would be sitting passively in the classroom writing notes, and it delivers that content usually through videos that are created either by the instructor or that are curated by the instructor from other sources. In the face-to-face -face time, students now will complete the activities that would previously have been considered homework. So the practice problems that students at one time might have hit an obstacle, gotten discouraged and not completed at all, now when they hit this obstacle they can raise their hand, ask their question, and in probably 60 seconds or less be back on their way and have a better chance of grasping that content and, and working towards mastery of that information. Students can utilize the features of video delivery in that they can pause the presentation when needed if they need a few extra seconds to copy something down or to think about an idea that was just discussed. They can use the rewind feature if they missed a piece of information or if they just need to hear it again for reinforcement. They can even use the fast forward feature if, for instance, they are able to listen to half of a lesson at one point but then need to stop and come back to it at a later time, they can fast forward through the presentation to the point where they left off. 
Other benefits of delivering content via online video is that now students have the freedom to receive the content whenever it's convenient to them, be it in school, after school, late at night if they're a night owl, or early in the morning if they're an early bird. They can receive the content wherever it's convenient for them, be it at home or on a bus ride to a track meet or a tennis match or a band concert, or if they're sitting in the waiting room at the doctor's office or the dentist's office. They can receive the content how they choose to. Any internet connected device should be able to access YouTube, which is where the majority of these videos will be posted. So be it a laptop, a smartphone, a tablet, or their home PC or Macintosh computer, they should be able to receive this content. Even if there is not an internet connection, if that is an issue, there are other ways that the video content can still be delivered, be it via DVD, or a thumb drive. Students ask me if chemistry is hard. Every student is different, so I really can't give a straight answer to that question. What I will tell you is that you will get as much out of the class as you are willing to put in. One of the keys to success in chemistry is staying current. How can you stay current? If you take just five minutes every night and review what you did in class that day, be it taking notes, working on practice problems from a worksheet, or a lab activity, review that material and over two weeks time you have accumulated one hour's worth of review without even attempting to. The other thing that you can do is to check the website. If you know you're going to be absent or you miss class because you were sick, go to www.mrisley.com and from there click on the link to your specific class's webpage and you'll have a calendar listing the topics that we will be discussing as well as any homework that might have been assigned that period. You can also catch up with us on Twitter, where I like to uh, tweet out reminders, uh, announcements that, of things coming up, showcase work that we're doing in class, and the occasional uh, link of interest uh, or that's relevant to what we're talking about. The other key to success is to communicate. I am not a mind reader, so if you are having difficulty with the material that we're discussing, you need to let me know about that come and see me before or after school. Uh, you can always email me as well. Um, but the bottom line is you need to not be afraid to ask for help. I look forward to an exciting year in chemistry and I hope that you are excited too. Thanks for watching.